my name is Evie Tall and I'm the president of the Sky Yoga and Meditation Club here at USC. Something very unique about the Sky Club is that we offer a Sky Happiness Retreat, which is a three-day workshop in which you get to dive deep into a breathing technique and learn the powers of your own mind and breath. During this three-day workshop, you will get to learn an evidence-based meditation breathing technique that allows you to reduce any mental and physical stress in your mind and body. I mentioned evidence-based breathwork and meditation. So other than various breathwork exercises and meditation that we do, on our flagship program, the Sky Happiness Retreat, we offer and teach Sudarshan Kriya. It's a very powerful evidence-based meditation practice that allows us to decrease physical and mental stress on such a deep level and go into a deep state of rest. Um, so it gets rid of that stuff that really doesn't serve us anymore and allows us to see what's truly there when we're not stuck in those other things. We often have group gatherings together in which we do guided meditations, yoga. We also do potlucks and service projects on campus. We also do um, cooking contests and movie nights. And there's always a sense of belongingness here at Sky. Our club is part of a national program called Sky Campus Happiness that is at maybe around 50 something campuses across the US. We are under the nonprofit, the International Association for Human Values, which provides programming to reduce stress, build leaders so that human values can flourish in communities and within individuals. Our partner org is the Art of Living Foundation. And we don't have any religious preference or background, um, so to say, everyone is welcome, whatever you believe, whatever you practice, anything like that, it's all encompassing to come to um, our club and Sky Campus Happiness with um, the intention of just seeing even how you can find your purpose again, find that connection to whatever it is you believe in a deeper way, or simply just explore. I believe it is our vision that sets us apart from any other group um, or any other meditation practice out there. We, have, we envision a happy and mindful campus community where students, staff, and faculty thrive in life and lead with purpose, resilience, belonging, and um, clarity of mind. And we do this through our four main pillars, which really make up our mission and how we move through, through activities in our, in our purpose, right? So we have evidence-based practices um, in breathwork and meditation, um, practices for well-being and resilience. We have the inclusion and social connection. So we create opportunities for mindful connection um, through different processes and different exercises to bring that connection that maybe we don't always get in our everyday lives. Um, then we have service and leadership. We inspire a service ethic that cultivates leader and that cultivates leadership skills we have various teamwork um, exercises service projects anything that a student leader or anyone would want to do as long as it's in line with our vision we can do it you will be supported um, and then we have emotional intelligence training so we explore different mental frameworks for a happy and successful life on and off campus so really what is it that makes you happy when we take away all those things that don't serve us like stress fear anxiety really low energy we get rid of all that and then see what's possible when we feel more energy connected to our campus and to others connected to ourselves uh, my name is natasha i first started doing sky when i was a sophomore at usc and since then it's been the most loving community. I've learned so much through um, not only the, the teachers and the instructors, but through my peers and my friends that I've made through the program. I do my Kriya every morning. It has radically changed my life. Um, and I look forward to it being uh, present in my life for many more years to come. If you get the opportunity to do it, I highly recommend just going in with an open mind. Um, if you're curious about it, I feel like the seed has already been planted in your mind and you're ready. So definitely uh, check it out and try to get involved.